In this tutorial, let's learn about vmrun commands. vmrun command line utility is used to control virtual machines. So with that part, you could uh, turn on your virtual machine, uh, take a snapshot of your virtual machine, or you could even run a program in your virtual machine. So let's begin. As a prerequisite, you need to have VMware Workstation or vSphere set up on your system. In my case, I have VMware Workstation set up. Also, you need to have at least one virtual machine installed. I have Fedora and Windows XP Professional 2. Uh, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to focus only on Windows XP Professional 2. And uh, before executing VM run commands, you need to locate the path of uh, vmrun.exe file. So it is mostly present in uh, C drive. And in case you have a 64 bit machine, it's present in program files cross 86. And then uh, you need to navigate to the VMware uh, folder and navigate to VMware VIX folder and as you can see vmrun.exe is present here let's copy the location of this and added this for future reference and also you need to have uh, the dot vmx or dot vmtm path uh, of the virtual uh, machine so you could go by opening your workstation and as you can see, uh, click on uh, Windows XP Professional 2. As you can see here, the configuration file is present here. The .vmx file is present here. So let's navigate to that. It's in C drive, users, and user name. documents and in documents it's in virtual machines and as you can see we have found out the dot vmx path here so copy the location and uh, also the file here so i'm going to copy the file name here so so yes uh, let's begin executing uh, vm run commands so you need to open command prompt in admin mode and let's navigate to uh, the folder which has vmrun.exe so we need to navigate to this so let's first go to the root directory here using the cd command and uh, let's use the cd command to navigate to the path which contains the vmrun.exe file so now uh, in order to ensure or uh, to verify if uh, vmrun command line utility is installed you need to type vmrun command here and press enter if you see a list of commands like uh, vmrun delete and all it means that uh, vmrun is uh, set up in your system so in order to start the virtual machine you need to use the vmrun start command and add the path of the dot vmx file so here uh, let's use vmrun start and in quotes let's add the path so let's copy this and add it here and type enter so now it has opened the virtual machine So if you want to reset, all you need to do is replace start with reset. So you need to use the reset command. So let's do that in our example. 
so I'm going to replace start here with reset and type enter now as you can see in the background it is restarting the virtual machine so in the meanwhile you often need to execute these tasks uh, to make uh, this easier you could uh, add these commands in a bat file so I'm going to show you that as well so let's name this as vm run dot bat in case you want to know about bat file i've added a tutorial yeah that's oh, restarted the machine and click on yes now edit this and let's add cd hyphen and let's wait for one second then let's navigate to this path here and let's add a timeout of two seconds and then let's run vm run command to ensure everything is working fine and let's wait for two seconds again now uh, in this uh, bat file let's uh, suspend the virtual machine to suspend you need to use the suspend function uh, suspend command sorry so vm run suspend and let's add the path of the dot vmx file so in our case it's here so let's copy this and add this and to save click on file and click on save and right click on this file and run this as an admin so now this is the vm run command so it has suspended the machine you can see in the background so yeah you can see it has suspended uh, so this is how uh, you you could automate your daily task in uh, virtual machines and uh, now let's look uh, at taking snapshot in a virtual machine to take snapshot you need to use the snapshot command and to delete a snapshot you need to use the delete snapshot command so let's do that also here so let's take the snapshot of this machine and using the snapshot command and after the uh, path to dot vmx file you need to add the name of the uh, snapshot let's name it as demo and click on enter so now uh, to verify that there is a snapshot click on this and you can see here demo a uh, snapshot is present which shows that we have taken a snapshot and to find uh, yeah it's still not completed the execution that's why you're seeing this cursor so once it has completed uh, you'll get the command line let's wait for a while until it com completes and uh, yeah it's finally completed so to know the number of snapshot uh, you need to use the list snapshots command so let's add list snapshots command and click on enter so it shows the total number of snapshot is one and the name of the snapshot demo so in order to delete a snapshot uh, let's use the delete snapshot command D E L E T E snap shot and you need to add uh, the name so let's add demo here so we've added demo here and I'm going to click on enter so now uh, it is going to delete the snapshot so let's go to the snapshot manager now you can see here uh, the demo snapshot is no longer present and finally let's list the number of snapshot and you can see the total number of snapshot is zero and uh, you could also run a program in uh, the guest 
through vm run uh, command line utility uh, suppose uh, we want to run a calculator uh, program which is in a system 32 path uh, before that you need to make sure that uh, you have a username and password created so in this machine uh, first let me create a password so user accounts and in the user accounts uh, let's select admin and create a password i'm going to name the password as a here and some word here and create password so it has created a password and to run a program in guest you need to use the run program in guest uh, method so before that we are adding uh, gu which is the guest user and uh, this is the name of the guest user in our case it's administrator and uh, then hyphen gp is the guest password in our case it is a password a and uh, this is the command which is used to run the program in guest and uh, no wait doesn't wait uh, and uh, interactive it's going to display in the foreground and finally we've added the path of cal.exe uh, it is in system 32 uh, so in order to save time i've just copied uh, the command here so let's copy this and i'm going to paste it here and enter now as you can see in the background it has opened calculator so i'm going to show this again so i'm going to minimize this so that you guys can see it and i'm going to run this command again so you can see here uh, we have uh, able to open calculator through guest so that's it i've covered a few of the most important uh, concepts of vm run commands uh, in order to know more uh, uh, commands, you could visit my blog, uh, automationtutorial.blogspot.n. I've added the link uh, in the description. And uh, in case you have any questions, you can uh, drop them in the comment section. Uh, so please visit my blog for more uh, details about the command. And hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching my video.